Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a teardown or complete disassemble on a MacBook Air. The model here is A1466. Okay, so this model here applies to 2013, 2014, 15, 16, and 17, all the way up to 2017 model. Um, I believe they are all the same in the way of the layout. So let's get started. And I just wanted to make sure that um, I explain at the very beginning. So if you have a MacBook Air that is 2017, um, this is the same process. If you have a MacBook Air that is a 2014, uh, you can also follow this video on how to replace, um, you no, know, do a complete teardown. Okay, so in this video here, what you get to see is on how to replace the screen, uh, maybe on how to replace the motherboard, also how to replace the battery, um, how to replace the SSD drive or the CPU fan so this would be the process on how to do so all right so once I remove the back plate the next thing I'll be doing is disconnect the battery so the battery is held by a torque 5 screwdriver uh, torque 5 screws so use a T5 screwdriver to remove the screws so there's one in the middle two on both sides and the battery will just come right out okay so if you want to do a replacement on the battery you can look for this model number here is A1496 okay or you can look for this one 020 8142-A Alright, so let's move on to the next one I'll be re removing this um, hard drive If you want to increase on a larger capacity you can just go ahead and do that So before I go ahead and start removing the rest of it I will go ahead and disconnect the cable So this cable here is actually for uh, the motherboard, no sorry, for the keyboard which is the back lighting of, of the keyboard okay, so this one is for your touchpad this is the USB, the I.O. board cable connector alright, so this is for your um, screen the LCD screen and this is for your DC jack cable this is your speaker and there's one little cable here make sure that you have it remove and go ahead and get the screw out this one here is to remove the fan. Go ahead and remove that. So there are three screws that holds on to the fan. And do not forget to remove the cable. And that's how you remove that CPU fan. And this is how you remove the, um, or replace the DC jack the I.O. board, the USB, and the audio jack, okay? So this is one piece together like that. So at this point, there's one screw underneath here. Go ahead and remove that screw.
All right, so this is a Wi-Fi. Be very careful, do not break the Wi-Fi. And then the cable is is tucked underneath the motherboard. So you can just pull it right out like that. This is your Wi-Fi card. If you want to replace it, just as one screw that is holding the Wi-Fi card. And then just pull this thing out. Okay, there's one more screw here for your motherboard. Here's your speaker. There's another screw here. Okay, and that is your LCD screen. Go ahead and remove that. So, but you need to open up the clipper. So make sure the clipper is open. Then you can just pull it right out. All right, so your motherboard is pretty much free to go. Oops, I missed one screw here. Okay, so your motherboard at this point is just free to go like that. That's how you do a motherboard replacement. To look for the motherboard replacement, you can look for this number here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Right here says 820-3437-B. All right, so here pretty much the speaker is kind of taped onto the keyboard. Likewise, on the right side as well. So the only thing left I'll be doing is to remove the three screws here on the right side. This is the hinge. The hinge is the one that's holding on to um, the LCD screen. So go ahead and remove that. Same goes for the left side of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the laptop a little bit to push the hinge apart. And there you have it. So this is your entire LCD assemble, right? If you want to do a screen replacement, that's how you're going to do it. Replace the whole thing. And this is your bottom part of it, which is your keyboard and your touchpad. So if you spill anything here for a replacement, that's how you're going to do that as well. Okay. I believe this might be the microphone. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like a microphone. But yeah, and a touchpad is bottom here. If you want to replace the touchpad, just the touchpad itself, remove the screws here. And then the touchpad is going to come right out on the other side of it. Okay, so um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any question, comment below. Um, I'm more than happy to answer your questions. And I hope that this video helps to show you the breakdown on how to replace uh, some of the parts that you're interested to do it. Maybe like the CPU fan um, or maybe the charging port. Um, the hard drive here, you know, uh, things like that. So, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you again. Take care. Bye.